Eleven percent of engineers are female. That is something that needs to change. I believe that the only way to leave a mark on this earth is to have different ideas and the courage to bring some change according to them. And for me, that's what this competition is all about. My name is Leslie Chilcott, and I'm the director of Code Girl. Code Girl is a documentary where I follow a contest uh, for high school age girls from around the world who have three months to design a mobile app and the only direction that they're given is that it must solve a problem in their part of the world. A few years ago I was making a very short documentary for the launch of a new nonprofit called Code.org and I was interviewing some really amazing tech innovators. At the same time I heard about this contest called the Technovation Challenge. And I was like, what's that? And they're like, oh, it's a tech contest, but it's just for girls. One of the ideas is that, what, if you remember, we wanted to have it in connection with this um, tuberculosis initiative in the world and in Moldova itself. So basically, we can uh, see what like NGOs are working in this sector. And maybe we can get them on board for you know getting some initial funding. In 2015, there were over 5,000 girls that applied to the Technovation Challenge in over 60 countries. Now, these girls then form teams of two to five girls. They usually work with a coach or a mentor, and they have three months to write a business plan, analyze their market share, come up with a branding and promotion idea, learn code, and pitch their app to a group of people. So when I was filming all these different teams, it was interesting to see who took to coding more or marketing or business plan more than the others. And a lot of the girls that never thought they'd have an interest in coding had these light bulb moments where they actually make some part of their app work or function. I think yeah. the regionals gave us a lot of confidence. We got so much positive feedback from the judges and from everyone there that it just seemed silly not to continue with it, even if we didn't get to Worlds. You know, I would start to forget that they were only 15 or 16 years old, and then all of a sudden we'd be filming, we'd been there for a couple hours, and one of them would squeal or jump up and down because they finally figured out some problem with the code. <laughs> one of the most profound moments for me while making Code Girl was when one of the girls said, it's lonely being a girl coder. It's hard to be what you can't see. And she was referring to the lack of women in technology. 7% of technology founders are women. So that's not a lot. Almost all of the tech companies recognize that this is a problem. But a lot of times when women enter the tech field, they leave and end up pursuing something else because it's not a great work environment. So you get a lot of the major tech companies from around the world trying to hire more female coders. Um, by 2020, there'll be 1.4 million jobs in computer science and only about 400,000 graduates to fill them. So that's a huge deficit. It's a lot of opportunity. And I wanted to make Code Girl to get the message out there that there needs to be a lot more Code Girls. If you really have a passion for something and you want to solve a certain problem, it's really good to get involved with this because you would be able to create a product and be able to solve a problem that really means a lot to you. And I think that would be very valuable and really meaningful. I'm Leslie Chilcott, and my documentary Code Girl is going to be available on Mashable starting January 7th.